previously on Skyrim. I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. What do these Greybeards want with me? If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. I have a stead discovered. Next time we are here, I've said it a thousand times, but finally, 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 we are going to be climbing the uh, 7,000 steps to High Hrothgar, and uh, we're finally going to go see what it is that the Greybeards want. What's up guys, my name's Captain Dave and welcome back to Skyrim where last time we left off I left you guys on the mother of all cliffhangers, quite literally uh, based on where we're standing right now as we are finally, finally going to be climbing the 7,000 steps up to High Hrothgar to speak to the Greybeards to learn about this uh, mysterious power, this shout, this uh, this thoom that I have uh, managed to acquire when I killed the dragon at White Run. But before we do that, let's quickly have a look at my uh, my inventory, see what we've got going on, make sure I've got everything equipped in the right place, because I don't want to get caught off guard when we start making our way up that mountain, up to 7,000 steps, only to realise I have absolutely nothing equipped, so. Also, I think I might need, the charge might run out of my axe of white run. Yes, there we go, so let's charge that up with, oh, well, I think the petty soul gem actually has less in it than the lesser soul gem. So, um, since how they both fill it up all the way, let's use the, uh, the, the lesser of the two soul gems. Good, 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 there we go. It does five points of stamina damage. We want to make sure that's fu uh, fully maxed out before we get the things underway. Last thing we want to do is get a uh, quarter of our pants down, so. Okie pokey. We have the ancient Nordic arrows. We've got plenty of them. Do ten damage. Good, good, good. And an orcish bow. Oh, good, yeah. So glad I managed to pick that up, so. Got our bow out. And our axe and our dagger. Good, good, good. Okay, we're good to go. And you know, in actual fact, I might keep my uh my axe out, so I'm good to go with that. But that being said, all armored up, all ready to go. Right. Let's have a look at our quest. So, what do we have here? We need the way of the voice to speak to the Greybeards. Oh yeah, and also the um. What, what, what was his name? Klimic, I believe it was. Klimic, Klemic, something like that. He wanted to bring those supplies to High Hrothgar, so since that we're going up there, it would be a bit rude not to, wouldn't it? So There we go. That is where we're going, and this is where we are now. It is time to finally... Man, it seems like forever we've been waiting for this moment, but it's finally time to climb those 7,000 steps, and let's find out what it is that's going on. What, uh, what is it, this power, this doom that we uh, absorb from that dragon? And hell, as we're on our way up, we might be able to find some more bears. I mean, I like bears. I don't really like killing bears. And to be honest, they're quite powerful. I don't really like fighting them. But we did need to get those uh, those bear pelts for uh, Tampa, Temper, something like that. So if we come across any bears on the way up here, that might come in handy. What do we have here? Etched tablet. Emblem 1. Oh, looks like we might be getting a little bit of story time as we go up the 7,000 steps. Before the birth of men, the dragons ruled all of Mundus. 
Their word was the voice, and they spoke only for true needs, for the voice could blot out the sky and flood the land. Oh, look at that, it's going to make our journey a little bit more interesting as we go up these steps, these 7,000 steps. I wonder if there actually is 7,000 steps. Like, I wonder if like, Bethesda have actually managed to count and placed in 7,000 steps, but that is a, uh, a concern for later, because right now we have uh, some more pressing matters being... This frostbite spider! Oh, it looks like he's charging in, Lydia! Yeah! Back, beast! <laughs> ah, we made light work of that guy. Glad I charged up my axe of white run now. Which has already actually lost quite a bit of its uh quite a bit of its charge, but. Yeah, definitely a good idea, I think, to keep the uh, the axe out. Normally I like to have my bow, just because other than the fact it looks awesome, but I like to get the drop on people. My bow does a lot more damage, but. It looks like climbing up these steps, we aren't going to have uh, much of a chance to get the drop on anyone. So it looks like everything's going to have the higher ground on us this entire way. So uh, I suppose better be uh, prepared for the, uh, the up close and personal. Speaking of up close and personal, that spider is very close to Wyverstead. Like, I'm surprised that, that it's a bear problem they have. I'm surprised it's not a frostbite spider problem they have. Hey, Lydia? But anyway, I like Iverstead. Iverstead's quite nice. It reminds me of uh, quite a lot of Riverwood, and I, I do enjoy Riverwood. I mean, it is no Riverwood, but it's a, it's a close second. It's like a home away from home. Anywho, anywho, enough of that. I'm sure Iverstead is going to look like a tiny dot below us uh, <laughs> very, very soon. So let's keep making our way up. Yeah, but anyway, as I was saying, like, I wonder if there is actually 7,000 steps. I wonder if anybody's ever counted this before. I mean, obviously, I need to keep my eye out because anything can attack us for any moment, like death from above us, from one of, uh, one of these rocks. But if you want to count them, Lydia, or any of you guys watching, if you fancy uh, counting these steps, feel free. I would be really interested to know if there are actually 7,000 steps. That would be like something that wasn't needed to be done, but would be really cool just to find out if that's actually what they've done. As we're led the way by these mountain goats. Are you my toy gu uh, my, my toy guide? <laughs> my tour guide up this mountain, eh, mountain goat? Are you going to lead the way? Oh, feel free, I could, I could use a chaperone up this mountain. What is that rum- my pad just really rumbled, and there's a dot above me. Whoa, there's a dragon down there! It, Lydia, come on, there's a dragon attacking, uh, Iverstead! <laughs> well, I was going to climb the 7,000 steps. Where'd it go? I'm trying to look for the red dot on my radar. Has it just flown away? No, there it is. Lydia, come on. There's a tra <laughs> It's attacking Iverstead. Man, you leave for five seconds. Look what happens. Come on, Lydia. Oh, we need, we need to take a shortcut. We need to get down there and help those people. They've already got a few guards and they're probably defenseless. Yeah. Come on, Lydia. Oh, yeah. I'm going to actually hit the damn thing. Lydia, I hope you better be keeping behind me, but I was gone for five seconds and the dragon attacks! It must have heard me say that I liked Iverstead and decided to get a little bit of revenge for what I did in Whiterun. Leave Lydia alone! All those goats or whatever it is you're attacking up there. Come on, dragon! The people of Iverstead really don't seem too phased by it. Better not be attacking those goats up there. Wait, Lydia is behind. It's attacking Lydia, isn't it? God damn it, Lydia, I told you to keep up. Yeah, come on. Come on, guard, come help me. That dragon's attacking Lydia, isn't it? See, that was its plan all along. Lure me down to Iverstead uh, <laughs> to try and uh, help these people and then take out Lydia while you have the chance. Well, nah. Your plan will not come into fruition today. Yeah, I'm over here, dragon. How about you try fighting me? Yeah, come on. I'm the one you want. Lydia's protecting the goat. Good old Lydia. <laughs> yeah, I can shout too, dragon. Come on, where are you going to land now? There's not much room over here. I think he's trying to tra uh, char grill that frostbite spider. Yeah, that's the spirit, Lydia. Come on, let's get this thing. I think that we may have to. Yeah. 
Yikes! Oh, jeez! <laughs> okay, looks like it uh, it wants to char grill me as well. Let's have a look at some of these potions. This is not the ideal place to be fighting a dragon, but uh, <laughs> beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Where'd it go? Running away won't save ya! Here it comes, round two. It's gonna do the fire again! <laughs> yeah, my dragon shout scared you off. I bet it's something you could have done without either said guard. Alright, come on, let's do this mano a mano. Come on, dragon, you will die by Gaston's hand! Boom, baby! <laughs> I am the protector of Iverstead, and now your soul belongs to Gaston! <laughs> You're damn right, Dragon Soul Absorbed. Three dragon bones, I'll be taking them. Three dragon scales, 184 gold, or one gold, I didn't quite get to read it. Arrows, arrows, and I'm guessing that's the remnants of whatever uh, <laughs> guard you last at. Yeah, well, you better believe it, guy. It's really dead then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The three of us, we took that bad boy down, and that mountain goat, I'm sure you tried to help. Yeah, there, there, there they are, look. <laughs> oh, welcome to the party, now you decide to help. <laughs> Don't worry, I've stayed. I, I will be gone but a moment. I'm sure another dragon won't try and attack you while I'm gone. All, all the townsfolk are turning out. Yes! Praise be Gaston, I am your saviour. I saved you from the dragon. Now I must climb the 7,000 steps. But don't worry, people. Don't worry, good people of Iverstead. I will return. I, I will return. But you can uh, you can rest easy while I'm gone. The dragon is deceased. <laughs> Look at that! I got a little fan club going on. Fantastic. My cousin's out fighting dragons, and what do I get? God duty. <laughs> Dude, did you not see what that is? That you've got guard duty and a dragon. Like you're getting the best of both worlds. In all my years, I've never seen such a thing. Yeah, well, there you go. Have you... yourself a great day. I will. Thank you, Gwilin. You seem really uh, chipper, really happy. So I hope this is a uh, this has improved your uh, your already happy mood. You get to see some new sights. Here for work. Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. <laughs> I think I've done enough work. I just took down a dragon. Saved your city. They were attacking you until I uh, lured it away. But anyway, guys, you, you guys. No, 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 I'm putting you in charge. You look after trailer. Iverstead. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking to the skies as I'm about to travel up, so... Good day! Protect Diverstead while I'm gone. Ah, you there! Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. <laughs> yeah, after this dragon, wolves are the least of my concern. But anyway, Barkner, what are you doing up here? Hmm. <laughs> oh, are you upset when you tried to look like the big proud warrior and I've just outshone you by destroying this dragon? <laughs> By the way, uh, did you hear the Greybeard's called Dover King? Uh, I think it's got something to do with me, you know, just slaying dragons left, right, and center. I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. I, I'm no expert, but I think it means I'm awesome. <laughs> but anyway, what are you doing here, Buckner, other than um, narrowly avoiding getting destroyed by a dragon? I like to spend time up here, walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. <laughs> you sound like such a peaceful person. Then you're like, also, oh, it helps when I kill things. Anyway, do you uh, do you visit the Greybeard? They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials. But not to make conversation. Yeah, well, I'm about to do both. I'm uh, hopefully about to go chat with the Greybeards and bring them some of uh, Klimek's uh, supplies. So, anyway, you have a good day. Happy meditating and hunting. Until next time. 
Hopefully there will be next time, as long as another one of these bad boys don't fly down in my god. In my stead. Oh, Lydia, mind your back. Mind your back. Just crawling under a dragon carcass there. <laughs> the rest of it is now inside me. How does that make you feel? Ah, oh, man. Well, there you go. If anything doesn't get the blood pumping, if anything doesn't get you uh, <laughs> ready for a battle, it's a dragon swooping down. I, I get the feeling if we can take out a dragon on the way up to higher off guard, then... Um, we, we should be pretty good for the rest of the journey. I doubt there's much else that's going to be able to stop us after that. <laughs> also, actually, think about it. Did we have any shouts we could unlock? Now we have a, uh, a spare dragon. So oh, yes! Keen's or Kind's Peace. The voice soothes wild beasts. Lose their desire to fight or flee. Uh, okay. I thought... Oh, unlock. Ah, good, good, good. Let's hotkey that one up. So that, that's gonna be that might come in handy if we do come across any uh, wild beasts while we're on our way up here. We could uh, give that a try. See if we can soothe them. See if we can calm them down. So it looks like uh, by the looks of that dragon, it looks like they really don't want us going up this mountain. They really don't want me speaking to the uh, the greybeards. But no, nothing is stopping Gaston. Our string of bad luck, us getting killed by shady characters such as Windelius. No, they are. Uh, will no longer be stopping us. Ah, oh, nice to see the mountain goat survived. Emblem 2. Men were born and spread over the face of Mundus. The dragons presided over the crawling masses. Men were weak then and had no voice. Ah, and the, that's weird. We're getting higher up and the snow stopped. <laughs> oh, I'll take it. But anyway, I'm going to keep an eye out for things. Lydia, you count those steps. Uh, let's keep going. And you're going to have to excuse me if I keep admiring the scenery as I go up. We're about to go to the highest point we have ever been in all of Skyrim, so uh, you're going to have to excuse me if I stop every now and then to uh, sightsee. I hear something. And I see something as well. Well, I think it's time to try out this uh, Keen's piece. Oh, so now I might be able to get, the, uh, get a couple of bow shots in first. Oh, Lydia, I'm sorry! <laughs> you got in the way! I'll wait for it to attack me before I use uh, my shout. Well, it seems focused on Lydia. Oh, fair enough, I'll take that. A snowy saber cat. Man, everything really just does not want us getting up here. Uh, I think uh, Temba, Tamba, whatever her name was, only wanted bear pelts. So I guess we can leave that. Oh, Liddy, you actually look at you. <laughs> I, I hit you with an axe. I can only apologize. Uh, an arrow. I can only apologize. But then at the same time, I, I've told you several times to stop getting in the way of my, um, <laughs> of my, uh, my bow and arrow. So. A healing spell? Are you a priest? No, nope, just a kind, kind soul to Khajiit. That is all. But you get in front of my axe again, then I, I can't promise you I can help. Speaking of, my axe has already lost half of its enchantment. That <laughs> really didn't take long, did it? Oh, you, you... You killed the goat. I... I understand killing me, that's fair game, but that poor goat was leading me up the mountain. Poof! Now, as a result, you will fall off the mountain. Or you can just stay there. I'll get you on the way back down. It seems I think by the time we get to the top of uh, <laughs> higher Hrothgar, by the time we actually get up here, I might need to recharge my Axe of Whiterun again. Well, you can tell we're definitely getting higher. Snow's covered all of the path and there's a bit of a wind and more beasts! Yikes, my shout isn't working as well. That's not very helpful. Uh, where, where is it? I, d I did hotkey it up, didn't I? Oh, it seems to have disappeared. I could have swore I favorited my shout. I, I want I want to test it out, damn it. Yeah, he's fake. Oh, my, maybe it's just, uh... I may, it must still be recharging then, I guess. Take my arrow back. Oh, there we go. It must have just still been recharging. It sort of seemed to glitch out. It was like it didn't want to work for a little bit. Heal myself out. If I'm outside of combat, I like to try and use the healing spell. 
save my uh, my potions for when I'm really in the thick of it. Yeah, and I've actually I've nearly run out of this enchantment on my axe. I think it, I think it's definitely raining true just to say safer to keep my axe out. Oh, it's another mountain goat. Hello, friend. Man, I think Iverstead is just becoming a tiny dot down there now. I'd like to say hopefully we're nearing the top, but I, I really doubt that. Go on, you, you scout up ahead, goat. You, uh, you tell me if there's trouble afoot. Looks like someone's made some sort of offering down here. Emblem 3. The fledgling spirits of men were strong in the old times, unafraid to war with dragons and their voices, but the dragons only shouted them down and broke their hearts. Ah, oh, look at that, they got stood up by the dragons. <laughs> the dragons led them on and broke their heart. Man's first love. <laughs> I'm aware that's not what it means before someone tries to correct me. Man, it looks like that's a castle over there. Yeah, it looks like that's an old ruin up there. Wonder if our travels are ever going to take us that high again, eh, Lydia? See, this is. I'd rather be going down the steps, because that way I can get the jump and hopefully get sneak attacks on um, any creatures we might come across, which is something I'd greatly prefer. Going uphill like this, they normally see me before I see them, and then I'm forced to uh, attack them. Hand to hand, which is not uh, it's not Gaston's area of expertise. Sneak attack with a bow, that's where he really uh, he really shines. I'm actually... Uh... Hold up! I think I know where I... I think I know where this bit is. That bit down there... Let's have a look at the map. I think I know where that is. Yeah! <laughs> that bit down there is uh, between uh, the Helgen and... Uh... Yeah, it's that little, little mountain path that we went through. And that cave that I avoided. Oh, there we go. I like stuff like that. I like I like discovering locations where we are from different perspectives. Sounds like a really boring thing to talk about. <laughs> I don't know. I, you get your kicks in the smallest places. What's that down there? Is that another goat? There's a bear symbol, which makes me think there's a bear cave or a bear cavern. Well, I'm guessing the creature can't be hostile, or it would have attacked whoever this lady is down here. Hello! You must be cold. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Rothgar. Well, as I said to um, whatever his face was down the bottom there, I think wolves are the least of my worries right now. I mean, we've got dragons, uh, snowy sabers. Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> wolves are small potatoes when it comes to climbing up the mountain. But anyway, did you uh, did you hear the greybeards called Dofa King? You're a lot higher up than that other guy. I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Oh, if nothing like this has happened in centuries, then you were very lucky to be just outside Iverstead when it happened. Speaking of, who are you? Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. Okay, fair enough. Um, so what are you doing here? You meditating like what's his face? Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. So, Karita, I I don't know if you're single, but there is a guy just uh, just a few just a few thousand steps lower than you who has exact same um a pastime interests. You might you want to go down there and chat to him. Might find a kindred spirit there. Good day. Yeah, good day to you too. Can continue men uh meditating on the emblems. Emblem four, Keen or Kine or however you uh, pronounce it. Kine called on Parthenax, who pitted man together. Oh, pitted man together. They taught men to use the voice. Then dragon war raged. Dragon against the tongue. Be ready, Lydia. We don't know what's going to um, be waiting for us just round the corner. Well, it looks like hopefully we should be uh, near the top now. The, uh, the icons, the locations where we're heading is in a straight line now, so hopefully it's just a straight shot uh, before we're at uh, Pyrothgar. 
Man, I really hate going uphill like this. I hate having the disadvantage. Ah, asking you shall receive. A bit more, <laughs> a bit more of a straight path. And again, less climbing is looking good. It looks like we might be nearer our location. I hear something. Be quiet, Lydia. I can hear something. I don't know if it's in the distance or if it was just a uh, just another mountain goat. But I really don't want to take the risk. There was a symbol saying there was a bear around here as well, so definitely need to be careful. I can't see anything. Maybe I was just hearing things. We do have another emblem, however. Emblem 5. Man prevailed, shouting Alduin out of the world, proving for all that their voice proving for all that their voice was too strong, although their sacrifices were manyfold. You know, let's, let's take a little bit of the high ground. Why I have the opportunity, let's scout out where we're actually going, where we're actually heading. Before we move on. If there is anything up ahead, I might be able to, uh, might be able to get the drop on it. I, de I definitely heard something. I know there's something around here somewhere. Just wait. Did there we go! I'm man. I'm really glad I did this now. There it is. All right, Lydia, be ready. In fact, do I have a uh, Keen's piece? There we go. Let's make sure that I'm ready to uh, subdue this beast when need be. Three times damage, yep, that's the sort of thing I'm looking for. See, sneaking with a bow, that's where Gaston shines. None of this hand-to-hand -hand combat stuff. Running away won't save you, the dragon learned that the hard way. Come back and fight me like a troll. And he's actually, he's gaining health. That's a tactical run he's doing. He's doing this so he can gain his health back up. Come back here! <laughs> Damn it, Frost Troll, come back here! Damn, I'm gonna have to go to him, aren't I? Yep. I'm gonna have to travel over to him, or at least, at least. At least this way I'm hidden again. I don't know where Lydia's gone, but. Where has Lydia gone? Either way, I'm going to have to be very sneaky sneaky and make my way down here. Oh, here he is. He's on his way back. Maybe and now I'm on the ground. He want to fight mano on mano. Oh, that's it. Yeah, you like your chances a bit better now. I'm on the ground. Ooh, quick. Kill the beast before he gets here. Next. Oh, Liddy, you brave soul. What are you doing? Oh, Lydia, out of the way! <laughs> I just got sneak! A time three sneak attack damage on Lydia! <laughs> oh god, no, it didn't work! <laughs> that worked for all the five seconds! I'm gonna have to do this one, mano on mano, wherever I like it or not. Oh god, that thing can pack a punch! Lydia, I might be needing your assistance here. Potion of healing. Uh, I think I have another one there. Health is increased by 20 points for 60 seconds. Yeah, let's take that too. Lydia, I'm going to be needing your assistance if you want to make your way back up. You take the brunt of the attack, I'll, uh, I'll shoot from afar. Keen's peace might took us. That thing does not look peaceful to me. And if it is, I don't want to see what it looks like when it's angry. Yikes! Lydia, you <laughs> get back up. I need your assistance. Yikes! Right, this one isn't working. I need, uh, I need unrelenting force. Oh! <laughs> Why? Well, I leave the frost troll to do the YMCA. Let's get a little bit of health. 
before I go on the attack, and a potion of stamina as well. Yeah! Oh god! I need more health! One more swipe and I think that thing's gonna take me down. Do I have any more potions? <laughs> he really wants to kill me! I don't have any more potions of uh, stamina, do I? Oh, there we go. Yeah! Huh? <sighs> Whew, that <laughs> was a close one. Take my arrows back and uh, troll fat. I don't really uh, see what I'm going to need with troll for it, fat. Oh, that's a gnarly looking beast. What's that third eye you got there? Was it the eye of Agamato? Have we just found the source of supreme in the uh, in the role of a frost troll? Whew. Lydia, you look like you took a bit of a beating there as well. Let, let me heal you up a little bit. Are you a priest? This is where I accidentally heal the frost troll when he comes back to life. <laughs> oh man. And, uh, do you know what? I actually find stuff like the frost troll so much harder to fight than uh, dragons. Is that. Is that Bleak Falls Barrow down there? Yeah, that's Bleak Falls Barrow. That must mean down there's Iverstead. Um, Riverwood. Yeah, look, there's the bridge. And that's Riverwood down there. Oh man, we're getting a, we're getting a real uh, we're really getting to see the sights of our uh, our old locations. But anyway, before we move on, I think I I missed an emblem back here. Oh no, it's just just a pile of rocks. All right, let's keep moving. But yeah, I know. Once we uh, once we get up and we speak to the Greybeards, I need I need to uh, stock up on health potions and uh, stamina potions. I definitely need more of them. And do you know what? I need a I need a better one-handed weapon as well. This axe of white one was a it was a great gift from a uh, Yol Bolgriff, but I don't know. Uh, I feel like I need something that does a bit more damage now. Because battling like a troll was oh, this a cave? Oh no, just a dark hole. See, I expected there to be a bear in there. Yeah, but battling stuff like those trolls, those frost trolls. It's taken a lot more out of me than I feel it should by this stage. I think I need to, I need some uh, some better one-handed weapons. Emblem six, with roaring tongues, the Sky Children conquer, founding the first empire with sword and voice, whilst the dragons withdrew from this world. Oh man, at this point, I'm other than the mountain we're climbing right now. I'm not seeing seeing any other like scenery above us. It's all just the tops of mountains and the uh, sky. I think we must be nearing our location finally. We might be nearing our final resting place if this emblem wants to be any near the edge here. Emblem seven: the tongues at Red Mountain went away humbled. Jurgen Winkler began his seven-year meditation to understand how strong voices could fail. Well, despite uh, despite our uh, many battles and our near-death impending doom, beautiful, beautiful scenery. Ah, oh, looking down there, there's Riverwood. Good times, eh, Lydia? Good times. I was saying that you never really got to enjoy uh, Riverwood, did you? Could you not find out? That's why. <laughs> How's it going with the old stair count there, Lydia? Are we nearly up to 7,000? Have you been keeping count? Or have you been too distracted with frost trolls and uh, saber cats and uh, dragons? And that mountain goat is still leading us the way. Look at that. Loyal to the very end. Look at that, the ocean out there. I don't think we've come across uh, any oceans, any seas yet. A few rivers, a few lakes, but I don't think we've come across uh, an ocean or a coastline as of yet. But that is not the concern for now, because it looks like we are finally here. We are finally at uh, High Hrothgar, with the moon in the background. That seems very, very fitting. I'll take a moment just to take this in. That's a very beautiful sight. I don't think we're going to be needing this axe anymore. I think that's, if I'm correct in thinking, I think that's Talos. Is that right, Lydia? If that manned rambler back at uh, White Rum was uh, correct. Emblem 9. For years, all silent, the Greybeard spoke one name. Tiber Septon. Uh, stripping, stripling then. Stripling then? 
was summoned to Hrothgar. They blessed and named him Dover King. Yes, the Tiber Septim, that is also Talos, like they're, they're one in the same, isn't it? Like Tiber Septim was him as a, a man, as a mortal, and then he became the god Talos. Like, I believe I'm correct in thinking that, I'm, I could be completely wrong. Alright, we have travelled a very, very, very long way to be here, Lydia. But let's, uh, let's finally go to Harai, <laughs> High Harothgar and find out what it is the, uh, the Greybeards want with us. Yeah, I know, Lydia, it's such a beautiful sight, I don't, I don't blame you for uh, taking it in. Hi, Hrothgar discovered, finally. Emblem 10. The voice is worship. Follow the inner path. Speak only in true need. This must be where we need to drop the uh, the supplies for Klimek. So let's have a look here. Trest is empty. Yeah, good. I, I don't know how I'd feel from uh, stealing uh, from the, uh, <laughs> the Greybeards. Where would it be? Pretty miscellaneous, most likely. Um, give them some dragon scales and dragon uh, bones just to prove my worth. There, yeah, store. Good, good, good. Return to Klimic. Maybe we'll get some sort of a uh, reward for doing this. No grey beards about. It's in white, so it must mean that it's up for grabs, but I need that potion of healing. I mean, I've come all this way. I think I deserve a slight reward for making it here relatively unscathed. As we climb up the final steps, and uh, oh man. Have we travelled a long way to be here, Lydia? But it's finally time to go speak to the Greybeards.